Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team and the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is The Jeff Crilly Show. Welcome to my show. I am so excited to have in studio a, a dear friend. We've known each other now for, I think, two decades. Probably uh, going so. back to my Fox 4 days, yeah. Linda Septian. She is the CEO and president of uh, Septian Entertainment Group. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm impressed. I'm like going around <laughs> thinking, I can't believe, Jeff, this is amazing. Well, you are, are truly ageless and timeless. And uh, for those who don't know who Linda is, um, I'm going to call you a star maker. I mean, you really do. You find these. Um, I'm going to just do a little name dropping. You're, I'm, I'm sure you, you wouldn't volunteer these names. Uh, Jessica Simpson, Ashley Simpson, uh, Demi Lovato, Selena Gomez, uh, even brushed uh, elbows a couple times with Beyonce. Oh, yeah, and Casey Musgraves, who I love. I love Casey, too. Uh, well, mm -hmm. tell us, um, I mean, what's it like to watch the Grammys and see one of your students uh, just, you know, crushing it on, on national television? I think especially Demi, since she's just been through so much in her life, and the fact that she got up there and said, I'm doing it again. And she was so amazing. Uh, her voice just kills me. Every time she sings, I just go, wow, the passion in it, which is what we try to teach. And that's the hard part, is trying to teach passion and not karaoke singing, right? And Demi has that all. So for me, it's you know a proud mother. Um, but what a beautiful soul she is, and she can feel that emotion through her songs and her songwriting. Well, what, what I love is, uh, you know, you don't have to go to New York or L.A. to find this kind of coaching, and you were recently featured in a Nightline piece. We're going to roll about a minute of that piece. Some kids just seem to have it, right? You listen to Rudy Eliza sing, she's only 14, and... Wow, where does this come from? And when you consider that this singing school where she's getting a little extra coaching, it's this faceless place at the end of a shopping mall beyond the edge of Dallas. And it seems pretty clear, this is innate talent, the key to success. Rudy was born with it. Maybe, but maybe not. Question, what does Jessica Simpson have in common with Demi Lovato? And what does Demi Lovato have in common with Ryan Cabrera? And Ryan Cabrera with Ashley Simpson? The answer is this faceless place at the edge of a shopping mall. They all went here. Keep your tongue down. Ha, ha. They all got coaching from this same teacher, a former opera singer named Linda Septian. And consider, maybe inborn talent is not the key ingredient. Could it be a good teacher and good old-fashioned hard work? Okay, now when that, when that aired, your phone must have blown up. Well, Daniel Coyle, I want to give him props because this is actually from the Talent Co. is why we were on Nightline, and it, it is a way of understanding myelin in the brain and how practice makes permanent. And they're saying that talent is created rather than born. So because of that, I learned to teach afterwards, even though he was using us as the poster child for how we taught this way. Uh, it was Daniel that really taught me how to train. He's an amazing author, and he was also um, author of Lance Armstrong's War and his books, and just um, that really was the one person that trained me how to train 
uh, professional artist. Wow. When I was on your website, I was looking at all the services, and uh, you just offer a wide range of services, even the people watching this right now who are saying to themselves, well, you know, I, I don't want to be a singer. You teach stage presence. You, I mean, you teach so many right. things that can help um, even like a CEO who's nervous about giving a speech, I suppose. We have levels. And yeah. so the first level is just lessons, and that's in one part of our building. And then the um, other levels go up from there if they want uh, stage presence. Stage banter itself is really difficult. And, of course, we do a songwriting um, feature also. This year we added... And it is with uh, actually the ex-vice president of Sony International, and he invited me to Thailand last year. So I went up with him for a while, and now we're bringing all of our artists to Thailand to write for the Asian um, artist and um, Asian fan base. And so these guys, I mean, they're phenomenal, and they bring eight top Grammy writers there with us. So then we also brought that back down to Dallas. So now every week we will train to get there. So. Wow. Cool. Well, one of our uh, our uh, broadcasters is the guy who is in the Barney suit, and uh, you met him. Yeah, you happened to come in and, mm -hmm. just as he was about to be interviewed on one of our other shows, and I said, "Now you two have something in common." How many children did you? Seventeen. Seventeen on Barney. Barney. Yeah, on Barney. But that was the big deal, and we train. I mean, that's what we do. We train kids to be on professional situations like Disney, Nickelodeon. We just got. Uh, I don't think it's announced yet, but one of our artists just received uh, the lead in um, a new Nickelodeon episode that's coming out, and it's amazing. So then they can launch their careers from that. So. How cool is that? Well, as I was doing my homework preparing for this interview, I went on uh, your website and I found this great video of uh, the early days of Demi Lovato. So let's oh, go. Love it. Let's go ahead and roll that now. And here, not yet. She got Barney after I booked Barney. I was constantly working on music and acting. I was taking lessons any chance that I could. Demi, good luck. I love you. Have love fun. You we had been working really hard at it since the pageant days and all of the headshots and lessons. When Demi walked in the room, I knew that she was a flat out entertainer. She was standing by my piano and she said, can I sing for you? And I said, you bet you can. She started this song. I, I just said, oh my gosh, where did she get this voice? When I was very young, I wanted to be like Shirley Temple, somebody that could sing and act at such a young age. I don't know how I knew I had it in me, but I knew that it was what I was supposed to do. Wow. It must make you feel like a, a proud parent. I mean, Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And plus, you know, the, the techniques that each voice teacher uses is also shown in the artist. So when you're no longer performing, you have a little bit of ego piece in that person. Just like last night when she was singing, she still uses, you know, methods that you train her by. So. Well, I have to imagine, because uh, uh, you, you had a, a, a successful career in on the stage yourself, it must be more rewarding for you to help others than... Completely. I, I loved, I, I probably was on 200 dates a year probably for 12 years, and I love singing for people because it's an ego boost. That's what it is. And if you're an entertainer, you need that. You need it. That's your feeding. And then when you get off stage and you can multiply that, we've had 17,065 clients now wow. as of last week we were counting them. And, and when you look at all the little pieces that you can give to others, so much more fulfilling to give it away than to receive it. So much more. Oh. In every part of life, it's so much more. <laughs> yes. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time for this, this show, but promise me you'll come back. I would love it. That was fast. It was fast. Yeah. It was wow. fast. We're going to put up uh, her website. It's uh, septianentertainmentgroup.com. Yeah, just the septiangroup.com. The might septiangroup.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, we'll get you there. But either way, it'll go. Thank and you. Uh, yes, absolutely. You're amazing. Thank, thank you so you much so for, much. for coming Good in. Good to studio. see you after <laughs> ten years. I know. Oh my gosh, thank I know. you. Thank okay, you. that's it for now. We'll see you next time.